So today we are here busting some new Greenville update myths and some of these are pretty interesting and are things that not even I know about so it's definitely going to be interesting to see what the outcomes of these are. Anyways though before you get into today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe as you're on the road to 20.2k subscribers. It would be greatly appreciated and for those guys who like to join my Discord server that is in the description below. Stay up to date with all my future content and all Greenville's update information but anyways let's get straight into the video. Alright so first up here the first myth actually matches up with where I am right now is apparently the 2023 Falcon Advance has a new trim which has a camper on the back which as I showed off in my last video, which you should check out if you haven't already. This myth is actually true, and this is called the Palladium off road at Camper Optional. I probably botched that pronunciation, but yeah, it is true. There is actually a new F-150 that has a camper on the back of it, and to say the least, this thing is super sick. Easily one of the most unique non-fictional vehicles that we've ever had in Greenville before. The next one here is another vehicle-related one, and apparently the new Renault Digital Gauge Cluster has a little GUI saying 310M Rue de Rivioli, which is a street located in Paris, France. Once again, probably botched the pronunciation on that like crazy please forgive me. But yeah, anyways, we have the new Renault right here, as you guys can see. So if we get inside of it here and zoom right into the interior, and I'm assuming start this thing up, it says it's on the digital gauge cluster, so if I actually can get a peek of that, I don't know if I can. And actually, wait, this is true. Right there, it does say that street name. And just further backing up that this is true, as you guys can see, I'm going over to the street right here. And yeah, it's very interesting, so this is actually real. Very small, but interesting detail there. I'm assuming the devs either just didn't see that, or they just didn't really care to change it. Next up here, this person says that if you drive the limited Corvette and a RP server at full speed, you unlock another Corvette. Now, I'm assuming I should be able to do this in a normal server if this is true, right? So, I'm gonna test out this theory right now. And actually, before I do that, let me go fuel this thing up. This thing uses a lot of fuel now. Alright, heading back onto the main road here. Let's get it. Now, I'm pretty sure that this one is probably not real, but we'll check it out anyways. And as you guys can see, this thing's so fast, dude. And yeah, we're topped out at 260 miles per hour. I don't think I've gotten any new Corvette, at least not from what I already had. Yeah, these are all the Corvettes that I already owned. So, this myth is false, I'm Unfortunately, if only you could get free vehicles by driving at the top speed on there. Now, the next one here involves me driving all the way back to the campsite, as apparently there is actually a statue of the game owner there. And I don't actually 100% know this one myself, since I haven't really paid attention to that. I'm assuming if there is one, though, it's probably a relatively big one, I'd say. I don't know why they would add some sort of, like, small statue or whatever, so let's go have a look right here. I'm gonna have a look around the entire sort of general area, at least, because it might not be at the main campsite. And yeah, as you guys can see right here, I don't see one in this area. However, we can drive up to the next one as well and see if there's one right there. I'm not actually too sure though. It doesn't look like there's one. I could be missing something, but anyways, driving up to the final path right here. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, none up here. And then if we go up to the watchtower, yeah, it doesn't look like this is true, unfortunately. I feel like that would have been kind of cool, but at the same time, it doesn't really make sense for there to be like a huge statue over at a campsite. So now the next one here is that apparently the Dodge Chargers have actually been remodeled. And I can say with 100% certainty that this is actually true as essentially the way how this happened was that the Dodge Chargers were actually the last cars that Greenville finished remodeling before they switched over to fictional vehicles. So that does unfortunately mean that these will be the last vehicles that ever get remodeled by Greenville that aren't fictional. However, this remodel didn't apply to all models. For example, for this Park Ranger trim right here, as you guys can see, it's not remodeled. The lights still look super old and yuck. However, if we actually go over to another trim of it right here, then you guys can see it looks a lot better than the one that we used to have in game, especially with the lighting as well. As you guys can see, it is so pristine looking now. And the thing is that this model is technically a few months old at this point, but I mean it's still, you know, very good admittedly. And I feel like it's definitely a good send off to, you know, real life cars in Greenville, I guess, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, very cool one right there. And the good thing is, is that you can actually still buy this vehicle as well. It has not been taken off sale. So make sure to get it while you still can in case Dodge does get removed from Greenville. The next one here it says that there is a beehive at the new campgrounds. When you hit the beehive, you can get stung by the bees. It was a lot of bees in that sentence, but this one is actually true as I do know the locations of one of them. So right here up by the second campsite, if we go up this little hill right right here over by this specific tree you can see a beehive right here and there are bees that are coming out of it which is a nice little detail and when i hit it you guys can see that i do lose health and also it actually shakes around on the tree which is quite cool and yeah i don't know the locations of the other ones i think they're actually pretty hard to find but that's one of them at least the next one is that apparently the sahara building it hasn't finished being built yet and i haven't actually checked this one out for myself yet so if it isn't complete it'll be interesting to see if they've made any progress on it and yeah this one is true it doesn't seem to be complete as you guys can see and actually it's quite upsetting because it doesn't look like they've changed the construction site at all since it was removed. For those guys who might recall in the past when they used to have construction sites, they used to like slowly update them as time went on. But yeah, this one's pretty much stayed the exact same for all this time now, unfortunately. So I don't know. I don't think they've really forgotten about the update, but it's probably a big one if they're taking this long to finish it. Next up, this one says if you go to the Park Ranger Tower, there will be a portable toilet seat right next to the stairs before you climb it. And if you see inside it, it's either clogged or it's rusted. So if we go up the hill here to the lookout tower and have a quick look inside 
inside the toilet, you know, nothing weird whatsoever. All right, yep, here it is right here, right before the stairs. I'm assuming this is the one they're talking about. And they say it'll either be clogged or rusted. As you guys can see, it is rusted currently, it looks like. So I guess this one is true. I've honestly never seen it being clogged myself, but maybe I just haven't really looked at it enough. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, very cool. The next one here is over at the Twist, and it says, when getting the Milksicle Pop at Twist, there is a possibility of getting the normal one or the deformed one, similar to the SpongeBob Popsicle. Okay, if this one's actually true, that's going to be insane. I can't lie. Because small Easter eggs like that are honestly super funny and cool in my opinion. Yeah, let's see. I don't know if this one's true or not, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know. I actually don't know how to pick it up. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I have to work at the Twist. All right, let's see now. Well, does it let me pick it up? I don't think so. Oh, no way. All right, I did a little bit of snooping around in GVCN, and this one's actually true. It says, when getting a Milksicle Pop at the Twist, there is a possibility of getting a normal one or the deformed one. So yeah, as you guys can see, that is the normal one right there. And this is the uh, very funny looking deformed one with three eyes right there and a different face and whatnot. Honestly, I have to say, pretty surprising for GV to do that. It's such like a small detail that most people won't even notice, but hey, it's still pretty funny regardless. The next one here involves a new and updated DOT job where apparently if you use the DOT stop and slow sign, there are lights that light up. So this is the stop and slow sign right here. And I don't see any lights. So I'm going to have to say that this one is false. Now, the next one here says that apparently on the new bridge, there is a train track on it. So if we drive up to it right there, and we're going to have to do a little bit of off-roading here to actually see on top of it. You guys can see that it is actually a part of the railway. And it's actually quite interesting because if you follow it all the way around the map here, then you will actually notice that it links up with the rest of the map too. So for example, right here, we're already all the way over at the lake. And then we also start heading over to Rusty Gus's junkyard. So if you ever get lost, just uh, follow the railway track and you'll make your way back to the main area of Greenville. Now this next one states that apparently there is a rare chance of forest fires occurring. And without a doubt, I can already say this one is completely false. However, I have to say it would have been such a cool feature for them to add something like this. And I'm really hoping they do consider it in a future update. Since, you know, we already obviously have building fires, so why can't we have forest fires, you know what I'm saying? And additionally, with them adding a lookout tower, which is specifically made for fires in real life, you know, it seems kind of like a no-brainer addition to the game. And it would definitely bring an interesting aspect as well. And it would also give the fire department a reason to come out here as well. And then lastly, someone stated that only new fictional Geo Metro, aka the 1996 Globe City, be that the hind rear wheel starts jiggling when driving at high speed. Now for this one, since I'm too poor to buy an actual beta one, I'm here at the Hunty's job, and thankfully there is actually a free beta trim for this job with the Geo Metro. So as you guys can see, just driving right here, as you guys can see, nothing seems unusual, but then as soon as I look around the back, you guys can see the wheel is jiggling a bit. However, if I ramp up my speeds even higher, then you guys will notice it starts to jiggle even faster, and it's actually quite funny, I can't even lie. I'm pretty sure this is like the first beta car that we've ever had that has some like weird detail like this where the wheel actually jiggles around. Obviously, it seems a bit dangerous, but I mean, hey, this thing still drives perfectly fine, so. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, once again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as you on the OT 20.2k subscribers. And yeah, for those guys who would like to join my Discord server, that is in the description below. For those guys who want to see all my future content and all green rules other information. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.